guys what is up it is another episode of what's cooking and yes it is afternoon because it's crock pot day again yay i like doing crock pot stuff on days that we have stuff to do like in the evening because then i don't have to worry about waiting until dinner is ready before we can eat and then rushing through dinner so we can get to where we need to go so Crackpot meals are great because you can get it all ready during the day and then eat whenever you really want to and you can get to where you need to be on time. So tonight we are making a Crackpot pumpkin chili. Um, right now I am just heating up my pan here. I'm going to throw in about a pound of ground turkey and one medium onion that I've diced up. And while that's cooking, I am going to get the rest of my ingredients ready and the rest of my vegetables cut up and then I will be back to show you what we're all going to throw into this crock pot to make one delicious meal. Alright, here we go. My turkey and onions are cooked. They're going in. Make sure we get all those good onions stuck to the bottom. I have one orange pepper, one red pepper, one really small green pepper, that was the last one in our garden, and three Roma tomatoes that I've diced up, and those are all going to go in. You don't have to use the green pepper, but it was super tiny, and I didn't know what else to use it for, so it's going in the chili. <laughs> but a red pepper and an orange pepper, or whatever, I mean, you can use whatever colored peppers you want, really. That would have been enough in there, so up to you guys. Then I'm gonna add one can of diced tomatoes. I buy the no salt added or low salt ones because then I can kind of control the amount of sodium in here. Plus the beans and stuff have sodium in them. And then I have a can of black beans. Those are gonna go in. I have a can of chili beans in a mild chili sauce. You can use a hot chili sauce if your family likes that stuff, but I usually like to keep it a little mild and then we can adjust the spice individually as we want it. So I know my older son doesn't like spicy as much as my younger son. So if they want, they can add hot sauce later on. Now I'm gonna add just a can of pure pumpkin puree. Make sure when you are getting your canned pumpkin that you don't get the pumpkin pie mix because that already has like spices and sugar and stuff added to it. You want to make sure that it's the 100% pure pumpkin because then that's all that's in there. And we are going to add a little bit of a sweetener, but um, you don't want the pie mix with the sweetener in it already. All right, that goes in. And then I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of maple syrup. You can use brown sugar if you want to. Again, I don't like using processed sugar, so I use 100% maple syrup. I'm just gonna put about three tablespoons in there. All right. And then some chili powder. I like a lot. You guys can kind of estimate and you know again after it's cooking for a while definitely taste it and then adjust your seasonings we're also going to add some pumpkin pie spice in here so a lot of people say what's in pumpkin pie spice cinnamon ginger nutmeg allspice yum right so that's going into not quite as much of that then just some salt and pepper and this one actually only cooks about three hours which is going to be really nice so i didn't have to start it quite as early this morning which is always good and it'll be ready to go shortly after i get home with the boys um i am probably going to add a little bit of chicken broth in here just because i don't want it like super super thick but i'm only going to probably put about a half a cup in here and then i'm going to keep an eye on it Later on, if it needs more liquid, you can always add some, but it's kind of on a case-by-case -case basis. How thick or how thin do you want your chili? So I'm just going to go and grab that in a sec, 
add it in here and I'm just gonna set this for three hours and then I'll be back to show you guys the finished product when it's all done. Can't wait to eat it. Great. Crockpot has shut down, turned on to just stay warm or whatever. And um, just for these last like 10, 15 minutes before we eat, I am just going to add in like two to three cups of chopped spinach just for a little extra vegetable. If you guys know me, the more veggies, the better. So I'm just going to let that sit in there for like 10 to 15 minutes till we're ready to eat just so it kind of like wilts down and incorporates itself into the chili. Stir it up and then it's time to eat. And I will tell you, this smells so good right now. So I'm really looking forward to eating it. <laughs> So thank you guys for joining me. Again, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell thing so you can get notifications when I put up new videos. And thanks again for joining me. I hope to see you guys later. Bye.